Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Lexi Gorman, the Gorman Groupie, and I'm super excited to be back with a fun video topic for you guys. I'm gonna be putting you guys onto a little bit of game about some of the compliment getters I have in my collection. Now, I don't know about everybody else, let me know, but I certainly have fragrances in my collection where I love them so much, but I don't get nary a single compliment from nobody. <laughs> and then I have some of those fragrances in my collection where every time i wear them i get compliments so i'm gonna let you know what some of these compliment getters are in this video whether you feel like you're not getting enough compliments or you have a certain mission or a purpose in mind don't worry i got you okay all right also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because i have plenty more content coming out for you guys okay 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 so i want to start off with one that i feel is very infamous Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And the reason why I say this is because I see this fragrance getting dragged more often than not online. I don't know why. This fragrance was a blind buy. This is a five ounce bottle and I got it specifically for the shoe. So I wasn't even anticipating liking it. But the jasmine, the cocoa, the vanilla, honestly, there's like so many different scents, notes in this. I could list it all day. But the blend of all the different notes in this fragrance really hits for me. I love it. And every time I wear this, men are all over me. So some fragrances I get compliments from men and women or just women or just men. Men literally follow me around. They try and sniff up on me. Don't even get me started, okay? They do too much when I wear this fragrance. So this fragrance I wear with a certain purpose in mind or when I feel like a femme fatale. The last time I wore this, I had on a black corset dress. I may make a TikTok, I don't know. Actually, my date got in trouble because he kept trying to sniff on me when I was wearing this. And I'm like, fall back, buddy, it's a date. We're not together, you know? So this fragrance, for better or for worse, is a compliment getter. And men get really feral when I wear this. Now, women drag this all the time. And I have to know, I've never gotten a compliment from a woman on this fragrance. So maybe it's just not a scent that most women like. I've never used this word to describe any fragrance before, but this is just like a very dominant fragrance. It's a very dominant fragrance. It's a very bossy fragrance. You know, I have to be wearing like black or red. It has to be like nighttime when I wear this. So this is definitely something that's not like soft girl, femme girl, you know, soft lights, soft life type vibes. It's just like a very dominant fragrance and that's the best way that I can describe it, okay? Um, but I love it and men literally swarm like bees to honey when I wear this. So one is Carolina Herrera, good girl. And I mean, come on, I'm obsessed with the bottle. <laughs> so my second recommendation, I don't think I've ever spoken about this fragrance bond number nine tribeca i'm obsessed with it it's like a grown-up version of crowd crowd can i talk i'm obsessed with bond number nine tribeca it is like a grown-up version of cloud it is a true sweet marshmallow scent okay it's not coconutty like cloud it has less of a synthetic -y vibe as cloud which don't get me wrong i love cloud i ran out i'm about to go buy my third bottle soon <laughs> But that's the best way I can describe this as. It's a true marshmallow fragrance. Whatever the notes are, the notes are. This is a marshmallow fragrance, period, point blank. Now, this is beautiful on its own, but I also use it to layer all the time. I layer it all the time. So if you find that you have a fragrance where you need a little extra fluff or sweetness, look into bond number nine. Now, every time I wear this, I get compliments from men and women. Um... It's a really beautiful, sweet marshmallow scent. Pretty straightforward, pretty linear. It does not change. It's the same from start to finish, and people love it. I personally consider this a crowd-pleasing fragrance, but, you know, if you have experience with it, let me know what you think, okay? All right, so <laughs> number three, I've ranted and raved about this so many times, and I will continue to do so. Latafa Nebras Gold, okay? Now, people say this is supposed to be a dupe for Eilish, and some people agree, but I absolutely don't. Eilish smelled musty to me and on me. This does not. This is a creamy cocoa vibe, vanilla vibe. The best way I can describe it is it smells like those ice cream cones where it's like half vanilla ice cream and half chocolate. It's very creamy. It's very sugary. If I remember correctly, sugar is in the notes. 
the berry comes through a little bit but it's not dominant at all i mainly get like a milky vanilla chocolate type of milkshake vibe okay it's beautiful i've heard some people have complaints about longevity i have zero complaints about longevity now i have gotten nose blind to this there's been times where i thought okay i can't smell it anymore and i've had people be like who is that i've had someone follow me in the department store multiple times over this fragrance and they'll come up and be like it's you you smell so good i've been following this scent trail and the whole time i'm thinking you can't smell it anymore and i'm spraying it and i'm spraying it no i just went nose blind so you know do a wear test or sleep test before you throw a fragrance out assuming you can't smell it or it doesn't work because sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes we're just going nose blind and other people could still smell it you know like how baccarat does right everybody talks about that with baccarat so this fragrance i rant and rave about all the time funny enough i've given away three bottles of this because the people complimented me so much about how much they love this fragrance <laughs> i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get them a bottle i love this this is actually the second bottle i've gone through myself and i cannot sing its praises enough I'm a true gourmand girly and it hits all the gourmand check boxes for me. So three, if you're not sick of hearing about it, <laughs> great, because I'm gonna keep talking about it. Latafa Nebras Gold. So for this video, four and five are gonna be like a two in one. Intense Cafe Ristretto and Intense Cafe by Montal. They're not exactly the same. I will link down below my dedicated video if you want to hear my breakdown of what the differences are, but they're very similar. And both of them are highly complimented by men and women. Funny enough, way back when, <laughs> I used to do beauty sales and retail. And I would wear this fragrance all the time, especially during like winter and spring. And eventually I stopped wearing it because I would be like showing people fragrances and they'll be like, oh, that's cool. But what are you wearing? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, where can I find what you're wearing? Do you have any samples of that laying around? And because Montal's niche, you know, <laughs> it was kind of hard to find in most places. And it wasn't in my store that I was working at at that time. So eventually I just stopped wearing it because I would show people all these different like designer fragrances and they would just be like oh that's cool but where can i find what you're wearing and there's nothing in the designer room that smells like montal <laughs> so you guys i talk about montal fragrances a lot and it's because they're some of my most used fragrances and literally some of my most complimented fragrances i've put a lot of people onto montal you would think i'm their brand ambassador which i'm not i don't even think they really know i exist but anyways intense cafe and intense cafe ristretto I get so many compliments. They're beautiful gourmand coffee fragrances. Coffee, vanilla, amber, which translates as more of like a caramel and rose are the prominent notes. But Intense Cafe is way more heavy on the coffee, okay? Oh, Intense Cafe is also an extrait, so it has a higher concentration of perfume oil. And when I spray it, it's actually like <laughs> pretty freaking obvious that it is a mega high concentration of oil. Like it dang near looks like I just put a little bit of body oil on, okay? So I typically wear this one in the winter time when I'm wearing heavier fabric so I don't have any issues with staining. But you know, if you're wearing a fabric that doesn't mesh with oil too well, just keep in mind this has a very, very high concentration. Look at that, of fragrance oil. Oh, lovely. So I'll do one more for you guys and then I'll make a part two video because I have a lot of complimented fragrances, but the lovely Burberry Her, okay? This is a creamy, airy, beautiful, cherry, strawberry, gourmand dream made by the Mason Francis Kirk John, the creative Baccarat Rouge that everybody talks about, okay? I love this fragrance so much. I can't really even tell you why the dent doesn't look bigger because I spray this heavy and I wear it all the time. I get more compliments on this from women than men, although I've gotten compliments from men and women on this fragrance, okay? It lasts about six hours on me. Um, <laughs> funny enough, when I wear this, I have to like be careful when I cuddle with my dog because he'll try and lick it off me. It literally smells like 
a cherry strawberry milkshake but it's like has an airy texture to it so i love it women compliment me on this all the time man it's about like a so so 50 50 mix some of them don't say anything some of them are like wow that smells so good i've actually had some guys stop me in the department store while doing christmas shopping and ask me what i'm wearing so that they could buy it for like their wives and their daughters it's happened to me a couple times over the past two holiday seasons so I actually consider Burberry her a crowd pleaser and it's one of those fragrances where it's sold everywhere so it's not hard to access which is always a plus especially if you don't like dealing with like shipping okay so those are my recommendations for today but don't worry I have a part two I will be releasing soon if you have any questions or experiences with the fragrances don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section otherwise subscribe so you don't miss out on my other content coming out soon and I hope you have a great rest of your day bye